Making an honest assessment of these key things will help you figure out the price and complexity of the technology that you should get for your dealership. Yes, there are ways to do it, but the first thing the dealer needs to do is really assess his dealership. He needs to know all the matrix of that dealership, his baselines, how many cars he's selling, what's his grosses, which are the good salespeople, what are their averages, all the percentages that go. So he has a baseline to compare as he adapts to new technology. Once he adapts to new technology, there's, there's things in that technology he has to buy into. Start with internet, start with internet lead management. Does it collect the leads automatically and assign them automatically to a salesperson? There's your first step in collecting the data. Is his website built correctly so he can collect that data? If he can, how much does he want to collect? Just name, phone number, address, or just name? Or you want to get the vehicle that the person's looking for in shopping? There are, are software applications that can track that customer if he doesn't buy from you. That you can go out and find six months later that he's still looking for cars. So once you adapt to the technology and you've purchased a system that marries to your process the best, and that's part of this analysis before you even go out and shop for, uh, uh, whether it's a CRM, an internet lead manager, a DMS, understand your process first, because not everything's equal. If your capability, your people are at the bottom end of the spectrum, why are you going to give them an application that maybe requires a degree to operate? It's easy technology. The end user is more important than the management. If you can get the end user to use the data and the management has a way to see that, then you have a solution that's going to satisfy you as a dealer and help you sell more cars.